Hey, welcome back to CMake Tutorial, Episode 8. I think we're on 8. Today we're going to talk about Find Library. This is something I probably got the most questions on just because it is something that is all over the place. I haven't really explained it before. Usually when I do external libraries, I just submodule them in, but uh, that's not what everybody does, and that's not really the standard. That's sort of an open source special case, which I really like. But find library. I'm going to show you how to get find library going and talk about generally how it works. And the examples I'm going to use it for are glue, uh, GLU, and GL. So basically, if you're doing a project with that uses glue and OpenGL. I'll talk about the setup real quick. We're using the same project we've used in all the previous ones and just picking up where we left off from episode seven. So if you haven't seen those and are completely confused, you might want to start somewhere at the beginning. And I just want to real quick show that we have it installed. I'm on a Linux environment. So on Windows, this might vary a little. The paths might be a little different. So first you need glue. So you want to just do a, like a, go to your terminal and do an app search. glue and you'll see live glue dev that's the one you want for glue so this is assuming that you have that installed with sudo apt get install live glue dev and yep yeah, I've got it you could build glue or have glue somewhere else and that's kind of the point of find library in case you have it somewhere else if you don't have it and you try to link it you're going to get an error at link time. So if you don't have it, you can get an error before link time uh, with find library, and that way you can sort that out and maybe find more info. So this is probably going to be a two-parter. I'm going to explain it, I guess, it from the basics as much as possible in this one. And the next one, I'm going to talk about using like the find modules a little bit. So I think it's necessary to split it into two parts because you can do it either way, and you see it done both ways. All right, so in our project, I have opened the cmakelist.txt. Now I am also using cmake uh, 3.13.4. So if I do a cmake dash dash version, you see that I'm using 3.134. So I, you gotta be careful to look at the documentation for your version, just FYI. Uh, there's a lot going on here, so I'm just gonna take it off the screen so we can look at one thing at a time. So find library, you just type it like so. You can do it kind of anywhere in here, just you know, before you actually link, basically, um, which I do my linking way at the bottom. So I've got a lot of room to do that, target link libraries. So the first thing here is a variable. This is whatever you want to name it. You could literally just like, you know, smash your keyboard and that's a valid name. Uh, it's one of those type of things. I just put my glue lib. And then the second thing is the actual name of the lib. And then afterwards, you can put names, and you just have optional names of what else it could possibly be called. Now, of course, this when it, when it searches for this, it assumes that it's looking for a word with live in the front and a, a dot a at the end for Linux. So that's all assumed. You don't have to put that on there. And so in general, really all you need is that part right there. Like I could get away with just that. We're calling we're calling the the variable to tell whether it's found or not. Uh, my glue lib, and we're looking for glue. But if you want to have if you just want to have it cover additional cases, that's when you put this name in here and additional names. And as you can see, I put a two at the end. I put just a capitalized version of it in here. Not sure if that matters to be honest, but I thought I'd put it in here anyway, just as an example. And then you can document with doc. And there is more stuff that I'm not doing. I'll just drag this over real quick. Make sure you're looking at the right version when you, if you look at this, because 3.18 allows you to put things like required in here, but 3.13 does not. So required just basically means it, it fails with a fatal error and tells you, hey, you don't have this library. But when we go back to 3.13, there is no required. So there, there is no option to auto fail if it doesn't find it. So I had to do it slightly different because of that. So that's what this whole if else is about. If I could just put required right here and have it actually function, then it would be fine. I could just go like that. So 
but since I'm using 3.13, that's just what ships with this version of Linux. Then you have to do a if else case, basically. Uh, what happens here is if this is found, then this variable name just becomes the path to that library. If it's not found, it becomes uh, a dash not found. It becomes this variable right here, the name of it with a dash not found. Well, that evaluates to false, or I think. Let me see here. Yeah, if nothing is found, the result will be var not found. The search will be attempted to find, and next time find libraries invoked on the same library. But another thing about this found when using an if statement. So you can use a string equal to uh, compare it to not found. You could say if my glue lib is equal to that not found. Or you can just put it in there as a macro to the variable because CMake has a special scenario. It evaluates to false if it has a suffix not found on it. So you can just put that in there. I don't know, maybe, they, do they have that backwards though? Because if this was false, then it would skip over it. And if it was true, so you would think that there would be a not in front of here, but when I put not in front of this, then it messes up and does the wrong thing. So I'm not sure on that documentation. So when I hit um, run CMake on this, it basically says glue found as my glue live not found. So it's not finding it, right? So I guess I do have to have the not here. And there we go. Now it works. So why isn't it finding this? I'm actually confused because it was just a bit ago. So I got something named wrong. I guess I need to delete my CMake cache or something. Why is this not failing? I'm really confused about why this is not failing. Oh, it's because it's in build, not out.build. I think I changed that at some point. Now let's watch it fail. Yeah, okay. There we go. My glue live is not found. See, uh, yeah, this is where it says as not found. That's kind of buggy. So I guess we do need this not in front of it. Okay, now it properly says. Okay, so yeah, if this has a not found on it, it evaluates to false. And that way, we need to flip it to true so we get this fatal error and it goes into this if st uh, statement. So that's that's the point there. So let's fix this. And build again. Do we need this not here or not? I'm, I'm losing my mind with this crap. Try it with the string equals. Okay, so I guess this is the more reliable to, way to do it in my version is with this string equals. Otherwise, it's pretty confusing with the old not statement. Cool, and we got the messages here. So those messages come from that part right there. So it does find all these. So once again, let's just mess this up and see what happens. So let's mess up glue, hit build again. It says it found it. I guess it has it cached. I think it's just cached, so we have to delete this to mess it up. That's not normal. Usually if it found it once, you're good. You shouldn't be changing it, right? So there we go. It says no glue, sad day. Now let's fix it. So if it fails, it, like I read in the documentation, I'm going to get away. if it fails, that's when it keeps checking. If it, if it finds it, it doesn't keep checking. It just, it goes with it. All right. So there we go. We're, we're good there. That's going to be a pain to edit to make that actually make sense. Okay, and then the only thing, other thing we do is we go down to target link libraries, and we, we're just going to add those on as their variables. So that way it evaluates to this whole thing right there. This tutorial broke me. And now we would have to actually use these. So if you're using GLFW, you do have to use include the GLFW act afterwards because GLFW also includes uh, GL. Okay, so well that's basically how you use the find library. Uh, let's quickly look at some of the other options, and I'll talk about putting in a module in the next one. So the different options you have here. 
ints and paths are essentially the same thing. And, and what those are, I already explained what names are, they're just possible names for the library. Hints and paths are just other directories you want it to search. And also there's path suffixes, which it checks with all the hints or paths uh, in addition uh, to those. It just slaps it on the end. Documentation is just some, some notes about what it is. No default path here. If you turn this on, it basically doesn't search uh, all your computer. It only searches your paths and hints. So this won't check. Uh, it won't check your environment and it won't check your current folder, basically, unless you have it in these hints and paths. So, and it's kind of the same with these. No package root. No default path is both the no package root, root no CMake path. No, and it's basically no to all of these, I believe. Or you can just specify, hey, don't search these paths. And uh, that's about it. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Hopefully I can edit this to get together in a way that made sense because I, I ran into a few hiccups, as you might have noticed. Yeah, but uh, let me know down below. I'll try to cover everything in the next one when I talk about putting these all in a module, like a find.cmake module. Because that's what most people do, because these libraries often, they convolute up your root level uh, CMake and make it a little confusing, so people usually just put them in a subfolder. Alright, well, happy coding, and peace out, I'll see you in the next one.